Hi there, I'm John from CNCROI.com and today we're going to do some wood carving using our CNC laser. As we also have a lot of customers who have large industrial CNC routers, we often come to the point where they want something that's carved using a bit but without the disadvantages of using a bit. And in that case there, we end up using our laser to sort of fake the profile of their v-carving bit. Um, a little bit of background, v-carving bit is basically a bit of a profile that sort of goes like this and it spins like this and it creates a detailed depth that looks like a v as well. So that's why I call it v-carving. Probably goes by other names but that's the name I give it to it. You can see here, if you try to ignore the black, you can see that the profile here is actually a v. Now I faked this using the laser and the reason is for our customers who do have an industrial CNC router, they get to a point where the V carving is so small they end up breaking a lot of bits or they have a lot of chatter or they have a lot of basically edges that end up getting chipped out. We don't have that problem with our CNC laser but this technology doesn't work with every material. Uh, thankfully I guess most of our customers use MDF with their millwork uh, so what they do is they give us the MDF where we go get the MDF ourselves we do the V carving, then what they do is sometimes they put it right into the paint shop or they do additional carving that's more depth and larger, um, a larger path uh, for them to do on their end as well. So it's very much a give and take. So what we'll do now, we'll take a look at our industrial laser V carving this piece of MDF. What I want you to notice is that there's some serious flaming going on because normally what you do is when you're using a laser it's a, basically a straight line going down and you're carving a thickness of maybe a hair. In this case here, it's roughly an eighth or roughly three millimeters thick over here. So as a result, you have a lot of material being vaporized going up into the laser and it's just fire everywhere. So it should be fun to watch.
this case here, we're definitely going out of focus on purpose. And when I'm actually doing this with the laser, because of all the compressor shooting down with the flame and the extraction system, it actually feels like a whirlwind of fire going on underneath, sort of like what you see in Mad Max. Uh, another common question I get from customers is how deep can you cut material, uh, MDF? In this case here, this is six millimeter. Six millimeter, millimeter is roughly a quarter inch. But we can cut, we've cut up to 18 millimeters or what's that, three quarter of an inch, quarters of an inch. So we cut pretty thick material. The problem we start to have is with the laser is that the more, the further it is from the lens, the more out of focus it becomes. So in this case here, the profile is pretty much dead straight. But if this was, let's say, uh, one inch thick, um, you'd actually see a profile going like this through it just because it goes out of focus and it loses some power as it's going down into the material. So let's take a look at laser cutting. I believe that one was 18 uh, millimeters or three quarters of an inch. We do a lot of custom cake toppers out of MDF at cncri.com and the reason for that is pretty straightforward. MDF as you can see provides wonderful contrast. If this was plywood or basically any other material you would not get as much contrast as you see here. The, the detail is really sharp as well. The nice thing about MDF is that it's a very very consistent material. So the what, what you engrave on one section will be the same as another section which if you compare let's say to some of the, the pine I have behind me here, if there's a knot or different grain patterns, that ends up being picked up by the laser and accentuated. So what we'll do now, we'll take a look at a cake topper made out of MDF that's laser engraved and cut.
application where you think MDF would be the best material. Again, it depends on the design and a bunch of other factors. Contact me at cncri.com. The nice thing about MDF is that it's a very consistent material as explained before, but the bonus is that if you use a very thin paint over, let's say the carving here, you'd actually maintain the depth. And of course, we go deeper on this. We do a lot of different designs and different features that sort of fake what a CNC router can do. We can't do like bevels or that kind of stuff. Uh, generally what ends up being is a V carving sort of shape or a more straightish uh, shape. Anyways, see you later in the next video.